What is up guys, it's your boy Crimsy here, or the guy with the Belgium accent, and welcome to a brand new video. Yeah, normally you're not gonna be seeing me wearing this hat quite often because I'm not really that type of a hat wearing guy, if that makes any sense. But my hair is just completely fucked up at the moment, so I decided to wear this hat instead of just letting my hair fly, you know? By the way, we're here to talk about Infinite Warfare. The trailer dropped two days ago, and... There was a live stream last night where the people from Infinity Ward, they were talking about this new game, this new Call of Duty that's coming out in November. From seeing what's going down in the trailer and hearing and reading a lot of stuff, I am definitely probably not gonna be playing Infinite Warfare. The reason for that is because I don't like cross jumping at all, I don't like the flying. I'm not a bird, I want to play Call of Duty. We are here to buy Call of Duty just to stay on the ground, you know? Pre-order Infinite Warfare, you get Call of Duty 4 remastered. That means Call of Duty 4, as we all know, Call of Duty 4. But then new, a newer version, an updated version. What I've seen from it so far, it looks amazing. I'm curious what the maps will be because they haven't released any names of maps that are going to be in COD 4. I'm definitely going to be playing that. I might try Infinite Warfare, but I don't know. It's it's not my it's not my style. I don't I don't like flying like I said before. In my opinion, like if you want to make jumping and shit like that a common thing in Call of Duty, then that's that's good. That's that's fine. That's your idea. But you also need to listen to the people that don't want jumping and stuff like that. Because if you look at this trailer, it's the most disliked trailer yet from Call of Duty. I don't know what the status is now, but last night the status was 130,000 likes and 120,000 dislikes. That's 50-50 in my eyes. Like honestly, if you have audience that many people disliking your trailer because of the jumping, like you have hardcore, you have people that like to play hardcore, you have people that like to play normal core, and you have people that just like to play free-for-all and fun game types, like for example, gun game and stuff like that. You have separate playlists. In my opinion, then you should make a complete game with jumping, without jumping, with thrust, without thrust. But put it in different game types or, or, or playlists, if that makes any sense. For example, you have the top playlist that says core, then you have hardcore, then you have thrust core or something like that. Because then everybody is happy. And I don't know why people don't see that. I don't know why the, the game developers don't try that. We don't want futuristic stuff. Well, they can... Uh, technology is so big these days. They can, they can make whatever fucking game they want to make. If we say we want this, they can perfectly make that game. But they're never going to make that game. Why? Why are they never going to make the perfect Call of Duty? Tell me. Let me know in the comment section why you guys think that they're never ever going to make the perfect Call of Duty. Ever. I know the reason. And I will tell you guys the reason at the end of this video. So overall, in my opinion, this game, this game is not going to be my thing. They can change it up. They can be smarter by making this game. And I've heard that they're developing, well, the progress of developing this game is three years. They're already working three years on this Call of Duty. People, their expectations are gonna be fucking immense. They never knew that we were not gonna like Frost Jumping. I give them that, but... It's, I don't know. In my opinion, it's, it's not a smart thing that they're doing. They're losing a lot of fans from the franchise. A lot of people are going to different games. Going to Battlefield, for example. Because they don't, they don't use flying. And they are bringing back an old war. It's the first war, so we don't really know what's that going to bring us. But they're bringing back an old school war. And that's what people from the Call of Duty community are actually waiting for at this moment. They're waiting for the developers of their favorite game to bring back an old war. An old fashioned, old school war. It doesn't have to be the same Call of Duty remastered, because that's just... I mean, that doesn't make any sense as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm still happier with the remastered COD 4 than with the Infinite Warfare. <coughs> 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 K, 
Okay, now I'm gonna tell you guys why they're never ever gonna make the perfect Call of Duty. They're never gonna make the perfect Call of Duty because if they make the perfect Call of Duty where you have nothing to complain about, why would they make another Call of Duty after that? What can they upgrade? If, they, if you have the perfect Call of Duty in your hands, the Call of Duty that has everything that you need, everything that you want, then why would you step over to another Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty, that might actually be worse than the one that you already have, because the one that you have is perfect. You know? That's why they're never ever gonna make the perfect Call of Duty. And I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, or if it's just luck, but if they're doing it on purpose, I sort of understand it. Like, if they want to keep their business growing, because if you think about it, it's still a business, then they have to sort of... It's like a car. For example, a car. You buy a car now. It's the perfect, perfect car. Why would you buy another car? Why would they actually bother making new models of that car? If you have the perfect car. The only thing they can do is upgrade it. But then it wouldn't be the perfect car that you have anymore. If that makes any sense. Like now you buy a Toyota Prius. It's not a good car. Just letting you know it's not a good car. You buy a Toyota Prius. Right? Five or six or whatever years ago. That car was like. Ooh! Everybody hated it. But technology was actually built in that car. That they use now. Sort of standard in every modern luxury car. So within 20 years, what sort of car are we going to get then? That's the same with Call of Duty. If they make technology that is so specifically... That is... I'm, I'm trying... I'm trying special words. If, they're, if they make a Call of Duty that is so perfect right now, then... Yeah. No one is going to buy another Call of Duty ever again. The only thing they can do is then just keep putting DLCs in the same Call of Duty, but then their business would be and then eventually Call of Duty would end. So yeah. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section if you are hyped for Infinite Warfare or if you're more hyped for Call of Duty 4 Remastered. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys sort of appreciate my opinion, that you don't hate on it too much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.